Hey everyone, it's Dominic, the Primetime Treasure Hunter. I'm gonna show you something really interesting in terms of a way to make posters photographed in a really professional look. No, sorry, forget it. All right, well, Daisy doesn't wanna cooperate. She'd rather be on guard duty and look for her boyfriend, Gizmo. So while she's doing that, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make this poster uh, right here look really, really professional in that it's not gonna have anything on the borders uh, holding it down because this is one that normally uh, would be rolled up. So let me show you what the options are. Okay, so this is a Tomb Raider poster. It's 36 by 24. It originally came rolled up. And this is really ideally how we want to present it uh, because you're going to see what the normal options are, including one that I previously showed, um, which distracts a bit from it. And so we don't want it to have any distractions, ideally. We'd love it to look like this. Now, the option I'm going to show you that does this does present a bit of risk. Uh, but if you're willing to take it, it could really uh, make this show up really nicely. All right, so this is how most people on eBay photograph their posters, is that they take four cups and they pin the poster down uh, with the cups like this. Now, the advantage of doing this is that it is very easy, it's very simple to do, and it's very effective. The problem with it, though, is twofold. Uh, one is that it really just doesn't look professional. And secondly, it does take away from just, you know, being able to see uh, the entire poster. It's distracting in other words. So uh, we don't want that distraction, which is why I proposed a, a second uh, option, did a previous uh, video on it, and I'm gonna just uh, refresh your memory about that one. So let me just show you that. All right, Daisy, you wanna show them the second option here that we usually do? Daisy loves coming over, she picks the rocks out. Uh, one of the things I suggested is taking these smooth rocks, I did a, a prior video and just advocated uh, finding ones ideally that matched the colors near the corner. So we've got a dark one here. So we would just put a dark one right over here, right in the corner and then you know, you could put a lighter one over here. They're not gonna damage the poster because they're nice and smooth. So, the, and see, Daisy just took my rock away. Look at that. Daisy, you're not supposed to take the rock. Could you put that back? <laughs> Daisy put the rock back. All right, so there we go. We got the rock here where it's supposed to be. Don't move that again, <laughs> there we go. All right, so um, you're usually gonna have to put one here, one here, and then, one right in the middle like that. Daisy, no. Now, I would not normally let Daisy near here if her claws would damage this at all, but she's um, nice and trimmed down in terms of her claws, so it's not gonna cause any problem. <laughs> Daisy, will you stop it? All right, so uh, let's see. We're gonna put some more up here as well. Just move Daisy back. There you go. All right, you are acting up for this video. Here we go. So we got one here. And then uh, get one over there, and then we'll put one right over here as well. How's that look, boss? Is that good? All right. So, as you can, no, don't take the rock. All right. So, one of the disadvantages with this approach with the rocks is that if you have a dog, they might want to take the rocks away, and then you're chasing after the dog with the rocks while you're trying to do your listings. But if you compare this to the one that I previously showed you, it is uh, obviously, Daisy, stop it. It's obviously much, much uh, less distracting in terms of the overall look of it, but there still is something there. And so if we wanna completely avoid that, I'm gonna show you the next approach, which is uh, a little bit riskier, but um, I'll show you what I do. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a standard uh, roll of tape. Now, I would suggest getting one that is just a professional company, not some cheap tape, but you want something that's you know good, like Scotch is a good brand. So you're just gonna take a piece off like this, and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold it over on itself, and you're just gonna make a small little circular uh, piece of tape, like a little loop like this. And then you're just gonna take it, and you, know, you can make it even smaller like that, and you're just gonna put a tiny, tiny piece right on the back like that, and then you're just gonna press it down right on the corner. 
So I've got one right here, I've got one right here, and I've got one right here. Now the risky part is that it can um, tear a part of the a layer of the poster off when you take it off if you're not careful. So you gotta be super careful. I would not press it down super tight, uh, just press it down enough so it has a little bit of a stick, and then just slowly pull it off like this, and look, this is absolutely not a problem whatsoever. It doesn't cause any damage to the poster. So you just have to be careful. But if you do it like that, and then you just lightly press it down, you're gonna get a really nice clean look for your, um, for your customers. So there you go. All right, well, here you can see is the final version. It looks a heck of a lot better than using those cups, and it does look better than using the uh, rocks because there's absolutely nothing there at all that's distracting. So. Uh, like I said, I have a piece in the top corner, in the middle, and in the other top corner. And then I have one on both bottom corners and one right in the middle there. I don't have any on the sides. I really try to minimize the amount I put on there and keep those tape pieces uh, nice and small. Uh, so when I take it off, there's not any ripping or not any tearing. Um, now, I cannot guarantee if you try this approach that you won't get a small little uh, tear or a small little a layer uh, that comes off. So it's really, really important that you're super, super careful with when you pull it off, do it nice and slow. Even then it's not a perfect guarantee. So you gotta be careful on which items that you want to uh, use this approach on. Now, uh, this poster right here, I actually sourced it at a garage sale for like 50 cents or a dollar. I just opened it up for the first time and this one is actually right now, uh, there's only one of them online for uh, $79.99. So I'm gonna put this one up if anyone's uh, interested in it. It will be in my eBay store by the time that you uh, watch this video. So just let me know if you uh, want it, if you're interested, Tomb Raider. Uh, and uh, there we go, make a deal. And just in case anyone is curious, uh, you could see here there is no uh, sign whatsoever of uh, Daisy stepping on this uh, or up here. Uh, as well. There's uh, no scratching or anything like that. Again, her claws are just, there's they're barely anything there, so I wouldn't even let her uh, near it if there's any chance that something was going to happen. So uh, normally if you have animals, uh, I'd tell you to just get them out of the room because you don't want to take any chance that uh, your posters are going to get damaged uh, in the process. But Daisy is uh, proven harmless, so that's why I let her in here. Those spots right there are just some fingerprint marks, so I just wipe those off uh, real lightly uh, before I take the photos and they go away. Okay, so there is one other option. What you can do is you could get some clips uh, and basically hang them off of something like this and preferably have like a white uh, background right behind you so that uh, you're basically just hanging uh, the poster off of the clips and then you don't have to worry about any tape or anything you know on top of the corners or anything like that so those are your different options with posters you'll have to pick the one that you're most comfortable with i hope that you enjoyed the video if you want to see more of this little character uh, go follow her on instagram she's at at miss daisy wobble uh, there's underscores between each of those i'll put a link down to it below uh, in the uh, description section if you want to see that uh, besides that, make sure that you uh, hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit the bell icon for notifications. Uh, there's a little donate button up there if you want to donate to support the channel. Uh, really appreciate it. I had a first uh, donation come in uh, last night, so I uh, really appreciate that. And um, that's pretty much it. I'll see you back at the next video, everyone. Take care.